Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Sermon for Four. So today, I'm very, very sorry for the late news, guys. I know this has happened like around like 12 hours earlier, guys. Like I said, just been really, really busy, you know, with my internship and everything. Two internships, and um, I, you know, it's just been really busy, you know. And obviously, I did a live stream, you know, and then I relaxed a bit. So you know, like I said, you know, better late than never, right? So let's discuss, man, because I still can't believe this happened, guys. I still can't believe this happened. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description below because. I have a lot to say upon the matter. So, U.S. Soccer Sporting Director Matt Croker elevates BG Caligan to head coach USMNT as Anthony Hudson departs. Okay, I want to start with that first before I even go further in this article. Wow. Anthony Hudson. You know, I'll keep it real with you guys. In terms of interim coach, I think he did a decent job. You know, obviously, there isn't really too much to comment about because, let's be real, the CONCACAF standards is very low. So, you know, there's not really much to write home about. You know, it's just the fact that we were, you know... It looked like we played as a unit. You know, I saw some new fresh young players and the, you know, the training squad, uh, scamp and everything. And I feel like the USA just looks so much more like, you know, they just look good in the pitch, you know. And he also got Balogun. He also probably played a role in getting Balogun to commit to the United States, which also is very, very helpful. And, um, yeah, as I said, man, it just came out of nowhere. We were discussing this yesterday on my, um, we were discussing yesterday on VC. Actually, one of my friends and I, we were discussing about, whether I prefer him or a vibes guy. I don't even want to refer to his name. So I'm going to call him vibes guy. And you guys know who I'm talking about. It's it's literally the guy with Greg. I'm going to, you know, Greg. Triple G. Okay. I don't even want to call him by his name. He doesn't deserve to be. You know, he's better than that guy. You know, I would say. For the USA at least. You know, and the fact that he's going to leave. That is going to be interesting. So I have no idea who this new guy is. So we're going to go ahead. They did an article about him. So, you know, let's go ahead and find out who he is. And yeah, man, so he's going to take a charge for us for the Nations League and the Gold Cup. So two big tournaments coming up. Gallagher served as USMNT assistant for the last four years and will lead team through CONCACAF, Nations League, and Gold Cup. Okay. Chicago, U.S. Sporting Director Matt Croker today announced that BG Caligan will serve as head coach of the United States men's national team for the upcoming CONCACAF, Nations League, and Gold Cup tournament. Caligan has served as assistant coach for USMNT for the last four years and takes over for Anthony Hudson, who is departing for a new opportunity. Let's see what the new opportunity is. VG has been an integral part for the USMNT staff during the last four years. As this young team has grown and developed, Crocker said, working alongside Anthony Hudson these last five months, we were confident that he is prepared and ready to uh, lead this group in the summer tournaments. We are grateful to Anthony for his tremendous job he did and wish him success in the future. Join US Soccer in 2019, Caligan initially served as a strategy analysis before being promoted to assistant coach as the U.S. team captured the 2021 Gold, Nations League and Gold Cup tiles before reaching the round of 16 2022 FIFA World Cup. He is currently the longest-serving member of the U.S. MIT technical staff. Okay, now that I read about this, maybe I'm a bit more confident than I was originally. Still, though, I'm still not really sure if I'm completely sold. But um, let's continue on. I understand the responsibility of the job. Oh, there's not like five things to know. Okay, whatever. We're not going to read that, I guess. Um, it's very short. So, I understand um, the responsibility of the job. An honor to have the opportunity to build upon the progress the group has made the last four years. Kyle Gunn said, together we build a strong culture and great understanding of how we want to play and expect to continue to build on the progress. Our goal is clear to defend both of our CONCACAF titles. A holder of the U.S. Soccer Pro License, a 41-year-old native a uh, vet nor New Jersey has coached at every level of the game. Prior to his time at the USMNT, he's been with the Philadelphia Union for seven years, first with the Union Academy for two years, and then five years as a first team assistant coach at Jim Curtin. Caligan played four seasons at Uranus College and served as an assistant at Villanova. Hudson departs after being served after having served as US uh, US U uh, twenty men's youth national team coach in two thousand twenty, and then as assistant coach for the USMNT since two thousand twenty before taking the helm in January of this year. With wins against Grenada and El Salvador March, Hudson advanced the teams of CONCACAF Nations League Final Four as well as a Gold Cup, which will defend both titles. During his tenure in charge, we continue, he continued the efforts to pursue dual nationals that resulted in a number of players who represent the United States. I would like to thank the United States for, opportunity, um, for the opportunity to be part of the great team of players and staff, Hudson said. It's been an honor to represent the national team. Um, and one that I have truly valued and enjoy. The group is in good hands with BG, and I'm excited to watch support the team as it continues to grow and reach the heights as we all know they're capable of. Meantime, the search for our permanent head coach is underway. So this is not even the permanent coach, guys. This is still an interim coach. The USMNT will defend back-to-back -back titles beginning with the CONCACAF Nations League set for June 15th to June 18th at Alameda Stadium in Las Vegas. The 2020-2023 CONCACAF Nations League Final Four will pit the United States against rivals in Mexico. 
I know as a rematch of the 2021 really Cup Championship match, in which at the time, he works from Christian Polis and Ethan Horvath, the guy the USMNT to a memorable 3-2 win against l in Denver. Yeah, I, I, that was an amazing game. I need to rewatch that game. The winner of the USA Mexico Clash will take on the winner of Panama Canada semifinal the championship with the two semifinal losers play play for third place. Both matches will be contested on June eighteenth. The USA then begins its quest for a record on tight uh tied eighth confederation championship sparks group A in the two thousand twenty three Concacaf Gold Cup, along with Jamaica and Nicaragua a team that will be determined through the two thousand twenty three Gold Cup preliminaries. The Gold Cup will take place on June twenty fourth to July sixteenth and venues across North America. So yeah, basically, guys, it was a long article, but to keep it short and sweet, the guy is like experienced. That's what I can tell, and yeah, he's a decent interim coach. Hopefully, he does a very good job, so we can have him as our permanent coach. Like I said, though, um, you know, there's been a lot of rumors of him with uh, us and Jesse Marsh, you know. So maybe during the summer, um, when we have some, you know, maybe during, after the Champions League final, when we get closer to the, you know, the Concacaf Nations League, we'll discuss about who should be the USA coach, and yeah. So that will be a very interesting discussion to have. But like I said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll leave a link in the description below, guys. Good article indeed. And yeah, shout out to the USA, man. Shout out to the USA, man, um, for making this decision. And hopefully it pays off because, like I said, man, I'm still very skeptical about this. But um, I'm not – I, I th this, this looks promising so far, though. So that's pretty much – I'm going to leave it with you guys there. So anyways, like and subscribe, guys. If you did enjoy, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.